So now we had seen about the various lymphomas and plasma cell uh, disorders as well. Let us move on to the next type of disease which is a histiocytic disease. So histiocytes are also inflammatory cells right which are macrophages. So uh, Langerhans cell histiocytosis is a histiocytic disease. So Langerhans cell is the dendritic cell which is basically an APC antigen presenting cell present on the skin. So here the genetics involved here in LCH is again going to be BRAF mutation. So, BRAF mutation, we saw it in melanomas, nevi, hairy cell leukemias and then in LCH also in, and also in colon cancers. So, all of this is involving the BRAF mutation. So, what are the various forms of this LCH? So, LCH, there are three basic uh, disease forms. So, I, uh, I it is not important nowadays. Previously, this system was followed. Nowadays, it is not being followed. So, just remember the names because they are fancy names. So, the first form of the disease is going to be a multifocal disease involving multiple systems as well and it is given a syndrome name which is letter C syndrome. So, letter C disease here this is going to affect the uh, less than 2 years of age group and it is quite aggressive because it is going to involve multiple systems usually it is going to involve the bone and skin commonly. Okay, and then the second disease will be the second form will be the eosinophilic granuloma. So, as the name suggests, you are going to have lots of eosinophils in this uh, in this thing, and this is a unisystem disease. So, usually it is going to involve involve the calvarial defects. So, calvarium means the skull. So, calvarial defects is going to be present in eosinophilic granuloma. Then comes the third form, which is Hanscheller Christian disease. So, here it is going to be a triad of exophthalmos. So, eyes will be protruding with diabetes insipidus so the brain is going to be affected here and then there are going to be calvarial defects same as in eosinophilic granuloma so this is a triad hanshella christian disease is a triad of exothalmos diabetes insipidus and then calvarial defects so the last form is the pulmonary uh, form of lch so in pulmonary uh, in the lungs also you can have this lch which is uh, very commonly associated with smoking so when whenever the patient is smoking they can develop pulmonary lch and the best thing about this is with stop uh, uh, stopping the uh, smoking habit it this lch is going to regress okay so, coming to the morphology, here again we have uh, picture based questions in LCH, that is why it is quite important here. So, in LCH, you are in, in this image, if you see, there are lots and lots of these eosinophils, right? The entire thing here is eosinophils. Look at the color of the uh, cytoplasm in these cells, it is kind of orangish, right? So, in between also you are having lots of this eosinophils. So, lots of eosinophils are going to be there and apart from that they are going to have this Langerhans cells. So, Langerhans cells are the dendritic cells and these Langerhans cells, these all these cells present here, right, this clear looking cells. So, all of these cells are the Langerhans cells and if you look at the cells individually, they are going to have a folded kind of a nuclear membrane. So, the nucleus is not regular here, it is all having a folded kind of membrane, right. They are folded and sometimes they are looking as if they are having a nuclear groove in them like this. So, here again you are seeing. So, all of these cells are appearing as if their nucleus is folded and they are having a nuclear groove. So, this is the characteristic finding of Langerhans cell. So, Langerhans cell is going to have nuclear folding along with the presence of nuclear grooving. So, whenever nuclear groove is present, it is going to give a coffee bean appearance. So, it is called as coffee bean nuclei. So, coffee bean nuclei kind of cells in the background of eosinophils, you will have to think about a uh, LCH in a child usually. Okay. So, this coffee bean nuclei, where else did we see? So, wherever the nuclear groups is present, coffee bean nuclei will be present. So, one thing was in this LCH, secondly in papillary carcinoma of thyroid, again you can have this uh, nuclear grooving. Then again in um, uh, two things in the ovary. So, one, one thing will be the Brenner's tumor. So, Brenner's tumor is an epithelial tumor. There you have a coffee bean nuclei and lastly, you can also see it in granulosa cell tumor which is a sex cord stromal tumor in ovary. So, all these four conditions, you can have this coffee bean nuclei. Then moving on to the electron microscopic image, this image can be asked again. So, here we are going to have this tennic, tennis racket kind of an appearance. So, what are these structures? So, they are just looking like as if they are a tennis racket, right? And in this handle you are having this kind of an appearance. So, this is called, this is nothing but the Birbex granule present in the cytoplasm of these uh, Langerhans cells. So, Langerhans cells are going to contain this Birbex granules and this Birbex granules are the one which are having this tennis racket appearance on electron microscopy, okay, like this. So, do not confuse it with the tennis racket cells. So, tennis racket cells are going to be seen in 
embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma okay so there you are going to have uh, strap cells or this tennis racket cells so they are going to have this appearance the cell is again going to appear as if it is a tennis racket so tennis racket cells are seen in embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma while tennis racket appearance is going to be seen in electron microscopy of uh, lch because of the birbex granules present inside them so coming to the immunohistochemistry again very important so lch is going to be positive for cd1a then cd207 which is called as the langerin protein as the name suggests langerin so cd207 is langerin so 207 is going to be positive s100 is going to be positive and then hla dr is going to be positive okay so in lch if you see this electron microscopic image the immunohistochemistry this microscopic image is going to be important apart from this this forms can be as and braf mutation so lch is again quite important